Hello, people. Today, I'm going to stop burning a watermelon. And I'm going to show you the good old, um, I'm, uh, 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 honey, what was it called? Oh, um, it was uh, the top 10 rare beacons. Oh, oh okay. Top 10 rarest beacons. Oh, no. Number 10. Coming in at number 10. We got your good old FH-307. So, yeah, this here is a, it's a rare beacon to find on any tower except for, uh, except for any TV tower. That's the reason why it's the lowest on the list so far. It's because um, these might be rare for, um, for like all cell towers and radio towers and other towers and stuff. But this beacon here is commonly used for, uh, for mass TV towers and candelabra towers and just tall structures in general my one of my favorite candelabra towers has box strobes and it also has these for night mode along with a dual strobe but the dual strobe you know it's like the most common beacon ever it's probably the world's most popular beacon too at the time at least so um so yeah they're commonly used on tv towers and just tall structures but you don't really see all those like cell towers and radio towers. You don't see those everywhere. That's the reason why it's a it's a somewhat of a rare find. But there are there are like uh, there's there's like three towers that Wise Aiden knows about that has this certain beacon. Let's take a look at it. All right, so we got this lattice red and white cell tower, and as you can see, that has a FH three hundred seven. I'm not too sure if it's actually an FH-307 or a 309. I don't know if Wise Aiden um, can recognize anything off the beacon that, that, um, that he can definitely tell is different from both beacons. Because, you know, like, the FH-307 and 9 have the exact same housing, but both the top, the, both the, the tops on them are different colors. I'm pretty sure the... The FH-307 has uh, the white top, while the FH-309 has the black top. So, um, yeah. So, I don't know if he'll be, I don't know if he's even able to see those tops on here because how tall these are. Even on Google Maps, like, you know, when it comes to Google Maps, um, the towers are just, like, miles away. But when you see them in real life, they're, like, right next to you. That's, that's how they feel. So, yeah, I wish, uh, I wish, um... I wish your goal match could be better with that. So yeah, there's that. I have a feeling that there's some difference with the markers that makes him that that tells him that these that this is a 307 and not a 309. I almost forgot to mention that this um, 307 was replaced with not an LED beacon, but LED markers. Yep, they were replaced with LED markers. Yeah, it's kind of a weird replacement. Here's the second one. This is another red and white one. This tower here has two special things on it. First off, it has a 307. Second off, it has a candy caned microwave on it. You can see. So, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know anything else about this tower, so... Alright, so um, this here actually looks like a gray tower, so... Curse mode curse mode it's cursed it's a cursed tower unless it, if unless it has some sort of strobe on it too but he but why when wise aiden posted this picture he never told me anything about any strobe so um so yeah there there it is and everything so um i still want to know um i still want i still want to know if he um, if um, if he can tell which is which beacon is which since they both look the same, the tops are the only difference though. I wonder if he can. Um, I wonder if he, um, uh, yeah. I need to tell him if he um, can spot any difference when uh, um, seeing the Google Maps on the tower. Number nine. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, so we got the the I mean that the um, the TWR single strobe. I'm not too sure how rare they are, but due to the lack of towers, I to 
due to the lack of tower videos I see with these certain beacons on them and stuff, I would imagine these being um, um, more rare. So, yeah, and that's, and they're still on the bottom of the, of the list because of how they are rare. I mean, cause they, they don't they don't look like the type of beacon that would be rare, you know. I don't know what's going on with this one with this um, weird bottom. But I just found I, I found this picture off of Discord. I think Merzen posted it. And if you don't know who Merzen is, that's basically Marion Forty. He doesn't want me to to um to um tell um he doesn't he doesn't want to be pronounced but yeah he doesn't want to be referred um, as his YouTube channel name because I I heard that I kept on butchering his uh, YouTube channel name brutally. It's like a it's like a meat house or a butcher house actually. So uh, yeah, I'm going to call him Mersin from now on. So um, this here, not too sure how rare it really is, but you can see why it's uh, you can see why it's on on the list. In my area, I kn I don't know a single tower with with any of these beacons here. There's there's only like uh, the the only towers I know there are towers in in my area that do have TWR dual strobes, but I I I have yet to seen this beacon in my area and the TWR red strobe, which is a which is a very rare beacon, you know, so rare that there's not even a picture. I I mean there's like only one very very hard to find picture of on um on uh, Google. So yeah, you can see that that why it's rare. I don't know why, but every red strobe that I know of is is kind of rare, you know. So so yeah, this here is a it's a rare beacon. So uh, this here, I don't know it's night mode. I don't know if it has a slow flash or a quick flash or its own version of medium flash, anything like that. I'm not too sure. Number eight. Okay, so um, since there's a little bit of a uh, confusion with both the FH-07 and FH-09, um, I had to research which one was which, and I guess, uh, and guess what? The 307 is the one with the white top, and the 309 is the one with the black top. So I have like, well, uh, I have a lot of pictures of the 309. Yeah, so um, yeah, this here is another rare beacon. It's more rare than the others I know of. So. Uh, yeah, but my favorite tower actually had one of these as its first beacon, I believe. Yeah, it's I I think these things existed back in two thousand two, maybe. Not too sure, but I think so. So uh, that so yeah, the Walmart tower used to have one of these. I remember it. I remember how it flashed like that and how it flashed like an incandescent. But every time I looked at the beacon, it didn't have the shape of a normal incandescent. So. Yeah, I know that there is something different about that beacon, and now I know. I'm like, uh, I think it's uh, been a few years since I found out that uh, what this beacon actually looks like and stuff. So uh, I think that was 2017. I think that's when I really started to get into watching tower videos and stuff, and not just watching towers go by and when I'm on the on, in the car and stuff, you know. So there's that. Um, so, um, yeah, this is, this is a, it's a rare beacon, and I only know, um, my ta my favorite tower used to have one, currently, Motor 2K's favorite tower has, like, four set, uh, four sets of these, with markers, too, and, um, and there's a picture of, uh, of this, uh, of these three, I mean, four towers, one of the, three of them had FH three hundred nines, while while um, the second one had a, a pair of markers on top of it, and side markers too. So uh, yeah, it, so um, those are like the only few towers I know of that have these beacons. Um, I bet that I bet I know a few more, but I can't really think of them right now. So there's that. So that's a, just that's another rare beacon. It's more rare than than I would imagine it being more rare than the other two that I that I previously looked at. Number seven. All right, so we got the we got 
at least one of the white only LEDs I know of. So um, this here, I don't know if this will really count for y'all, but I'm, I'm not going to count one um, rare. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to count one white only LED. I'm going to count all of them because they're all rare and stuff. White only LED is just uh, one of those rare types of beacons. So, so um, long story short, the beacon that you're looking at is a white only version of the crappy LED. Yep, um, I'm pretty sure it is. I remember looking at one one picture of one of the white only crappy LEDs, and it had this orange, just reddish um, rubber on it. So um, yeah, that's the only, that's the only difference about the white only ones from the from the other two that I know of. So, so yeah, um, this here, this this certain one here, is on the first Lowe's tower. The day mode, and night mode are are the same, but the um, the night mode is just a little dimmer. So yeah, this here is one of the white only LEDs I know of. And then we got the um, the the Horizon white only LED that actually gives a little bit of it that has a little bit of a change. The day mode is a normal LED day mode, but night mode is uh is night mode is basically the backup night mode to a dual strobe so yeah it's a medium flash night mode so there's that all right so um there it all is and stuff so um there's like two white only leds i know of i don't know if uh i don't know if the old school leds and the and the modern leds have white only variations of themselves I bet they do, but they're like one of the rarest beacons ever, I bet. But I do know that crappy LEDs have a white only version of themselves. And I'm pretty sure this might be it. Maybe. Hopefully I'm right. Number six. Alright, I I would al I already know you guys have probably for predicted this. But we have the um the the F H real this the F H real six Basically, it's the FH-08, but it has a cap the but it has the capability of shining red at night. So yeah, it's uh, it's basically like the original dual strobe, but a single strobe form. So, so yeah, this here, this here is where the 324 night mode came from too. So this here is the creator of the 324 night mode, the perfect night mode in my opinion. So that's that's um that's one good thing about this and the, the another good thing about it is that it has a red cone so so um I know I do know a tower enthusiast who really doesn't like these beacons because of how the red cones usually break and the main reason is because uh they look pinkish at night mode instead of instead of red but I I'm the opposite I actually like the pinkish reddish night mode so yeah, um, yeah, I like the pinkish reddish night mode that this thing gives off with the red cone and stuff. So uh, yeah, there's that. There's literally only one tower I know of that I'm. I'm there's only one that I'm really, really, I'm one hundred percent sure of that used to have one of these. It's a second Walmart tower. All the others I can just uh, I don't know. All the others I can just be like. Hmm, it might have the it might it might have it, but I don't have any proof. So that's uh that's how it is with me. So um there might be one in St. Louis that might have one. If you guys don't remember, there's a half pylon tower in in St. Louis. I remember I think yeah, I showed you guys it has a um, it has a, a single strobe. I remember during the beginning of the Florida arc when we were passing by St. Louis in the morning, like it was still dark. I remember seeing a tower that was close to I-44. It was shining red and everything. And then like after the entire Florida arc and stuff, when we were going back home, we passed St. Louis at day and I, I seen that one tower up close on the highway and stuff. So I got, so and I was just, you know, I was just like, I don't remember any. I don't remember seeing a tower shining white at all around uh, very close to the highway. I don't remember it at all. So um, yeah, there's that. Um, so there, yeah. I don't know what to say anymore.
it might have an FH Rail 6 maybe. Uh, I need to do more research, research on it. But that might be a um, FH Rail 6 candidate. So at least we got one in, we, we used to have one in Springfield. And we might have one in uh, St. Louis. There's probably one in Kansas City too. If so, then that means that all three big cities used to used to have a tower that well that had and used to have a tower that wielded one of these. Number five. Number five, we got the the F the the FG two thousand nine B or two thousand nine. I don't remember if it had a B at the end of it or not. I'm just going to say it's a. I'm going to say it's a two thousand nine B because. I remember um, the two the two the FG two thousand doesn't have a B in it, so I'm pretty sure that this one has a B in it, um, if I remember. So I'm going to call it the two thousand nine B. So this here is uh, is another red strobe. It's a very rare red strobe as well. I bet all I bet um, these are only used in Canada maybe, and they never made it to America. Something something like that maybe that's that's my only guess because i have no idea i mean i have i'm not even wise aiden even knows a single tower that has one of these beacons nobody does i nobody so uh i bet it's i bet it might be a canada only thing not too sure but if but if it's not then it'll be very it'll be a very rare beacon there's really only like um, like three towers I know of with this beacon. Two, all right. The first two are just pictures of the beacon itself. Like this here was taken off of a picture of a tower climber on top of a tower, and then the second picture that I know of, it was a it was the exact same thing. Another tower climber, but this time this tower climber was taking a selfie with it. Yeah, isn't that weird? So yeah, and the curse thing is, I see, I seen that both towers might have been gray as well, cause the tops were gray. So um, yeah, but the main tower, the third tower that I know of, that might have these beacons is uh, it's an observation tower somewhere in Canada. Ah oh, man, I'm trying to look for observation towers. Well, looks like the. I can't really find one in uh, in Canada. Okay, I finally found it. But there's one thing I want to see. Okay, that's nothing. All right, here is um, here is like really the only tower that well one um, here's um, one of the only towers I really know of that has that more might have the the um, this beacon. And here it is. I bet this here might be the most popular observation tower in Canada. Maybe I don't know. There's a name for this. It's uh, it's yeah. This this tower has gotten a name for it. You know, it's a popular tower. It's uh, the CN Tower. It has um, it has a cone strobe on the very top of it, and I bet it has a few more cone strobes around the around this part, and then just um. And then the rest of the tower probably has box strobes of some sort, and uh, and it might have um, yeah. And then and then other than that, they um, the beacons might be the uh, the two thousand nine Bs maybe. I don't. I'm not. I'm not too sure really, but that's my guess. Unless if it's uh, LEDs and that that have the same night mode. But the reason why I think that it has these beacons is because it has the same night mode as a 3000B. It has the same night mode as um, the Highway Patrol Tower and stuff. And that's like the normal night mode for the 3000B. And since the 2009B is basically the red strobe version of the 3000B, um, you, can see, you can see why I would think that this here has those beacons. Since um, those are all the same night modes and stuff, so... Yeah, and there's also if you want to see videos of the tower at night, just type up uh, the Z, the CN Tower. Um, like half the like half the tower shines white at night, and then the other half shines red. It's kind of weird. And then at and then at day it shines. It normally shines. It and then at day it shines white like every like almost every tower in the entire world. Number four.
this beacon is this beacon right here is so rare that there's literally that there's literally like only one picture or two that are like very very hard to find on on Google. So let's introduce it. I mean, it's it so rare that I couldn't even find a single picture of it. So I had to kind of crop the dual strobe version of it, of the beacon just to make it look like a red strobe. Bam. This here is um in the picture you see the the red half of the of the TWR dual strobe um but this here is supposed to rep represent the the TWR the TWR red strobe. Not too sure. I don't I mean I don't remember what model it was, what name it is and stuff, but it's 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 a rare beacon. It's I bet it's that one beacon that really nobody cares about. So there's not very there's like barely any pictures of it at all. So so yeah. Um, this here this here um, it the the night mode. I'm pretty sure it's a uh, I I don't know how to describe a night mode. It's not like um, actually no. I can probably describe it. Um, do you guys know the slowest night mode of, um, do you guys know the slowest night mode of, um, the slowest night mode of a 3000B? It's basically that, but a little slower, I think. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's what I think, maybe. I don't know. There's only one tower that I know of that has this beacon. It's a gray model pool, so it's a cursed tower. I think it's in Ohio, maybe, or somewhere else. I don't remember. All right, so somebody else on Discord described this model pool to be the tower, the tower embodiment to a to a Chinese LED. Um, you know, it looks like a normal American model pool, so I don't know what he's really talking about. But this is what it looks like. Yeah, it does look a little wonky here and there. And uh, you can barely see the strobe on it, but there is a uh, there's a straight view link. All right, so it has three antennas on top, and one of the antennas has uh, the red strobe on it. So uh, yeah. there's even a video of this at night. So, uh, there's some people that drove by this this tower at night. While um and while I'm making a night tour video of this highway, and uh, I don't remember what the video is. I don't think I'll ever find it in my life ever again. But um, um it it showcases tower. So uh, yeah, it has a, it has a um like one of the rarest beacons I know of. Or well, not one of the rarest, but you know what I mean. It's like it's it's a very rare beacon. So um, there it is in in all its glory, the TWR red strobe. It's so rare too. Number three, boy. Okay, this one's probably unexpected, but um, I I chose uh, the um, just any sort of uh, any sort of these techno strobe LEDs. This here I barely see in America whatsoever. These beacons are are just rare in in. In my area, I mean, I bet in, I bet there's not a single tower in my area that has in, that has a single one of these beacons. There is one tower that used to have a uh, they used to have the the strobe and incandescent setup, but the incandescent beacon on the tower was replaced with one, with one of these. Yep, and they left the they left the um, they left the good old strobe to rot. Am I right? So um yeah and there's also another tower that has that has two sets of these and it also has two sets of flashing sign markers too rare beacon setup and yeah it's very rare so um it's pretty crazy um I probably would have ad added this a little a little lower to the list since I know two towers that have this beacon um I actually I know a few but most of them are in Canada so this might be another Canada product, so I can see why it's rare down here. So there's that. Um, kind of running out of. Uh, I kind of forgetting what the what the other two are. Number two. Okay, so here is another one. 
there it is this here is uh the orga the orga single the orga white and red single strobe it's basically it's basically uh basically a clone of the it's a it's a clone of the the fh3 there's 306 but the 306 is better because this has like a basically the night mode of this beacon is like a, pretty much trash it's basically the um it's basically the um it's a it's a it's a crappy it has a crappy led night mode to it yep it does sadly but i heard that I, um oh and um you know um i i think um wise aiden did tell me it had night nine night modes but every time i ask him about it he really never responds really so um yeah i even asked um john Boyock about it and he doesn't know about it either so he did say that it has two other night modes but sadly they are faster yep they are faster um so this has um this has a four this has a um a 400 uh, 400 uh, miles per um, no it, it you know I, it, it has like the night modes on this beacon are faster they're just faster than the original so i don't know if there's a i don't know if there's a way to get this beacon a better night mode i hope so because this is a very cool beacon so uh yeah there's that and now number one The last beacon we just looked at, this here is basically the red strobe version of it. So uh, this here is like the rarest red strobe on this on this list that I know of. So yeah, and sadly it, ha it has the same night mode stuff as uh, as the other, the the um, the dual the I mean the red and the white and red um a single strobe that's right next to it now in this picture it's it's been cropped because i couldn't find a single picture of what this beacon it um, I, I can't find a single picture of this beacon by itself i can only find a picture of um of it in the th in the trio picture you know of all three beacons and stuff this here is like um yeah i i don't know a single tower that has any of the, that have that has a beacon i mean that has this I don't know a single one. Nope, not at all. So, um, there's that. Uh, so, this has the same night modes and crap. So, that might that might mean this has, like, nine or eight night modes if it does have that many night modes. I would imagine one of the night modes on the, on the number two spot to be a uh, backup night mode. So, if, if that's true, then that means that this here it only has, like, eight night modes, really. So um yeah there's that. So um that so um re so read the, read the description. There are more more there are much more rare beacons out there even rarer than these, but I didn't want to include the I, I didn't want to include them on this video because I think it, I think it would have been too long. So so I'm going to uh, make a part 2 to this to this list. Yep. Something I haven't done. So I still need to make my um top twenty beacons. I don't know. If, I don't know why I'm going to do that though. So, so um yeah, this is going to be part one of of the. Yeah, it's just going to be part one of the top ten rarest beacons. I bet part. I bet part two is not going to be a, a top ten. I don't know, but I have to. I'll have to find out. And I do have to tell you, most of the beacons there are not going to be red strobes. Oh wait, none of them are going to be red strobes. No, no, no. We're going back to the original strobes on in that video, so um, I'll see you. I'll see you guys there. See you guys later. Bye.